How many times did you present something and your manager was like, show me the details behind that. Take this example. Okay, so it's your turn to present. You stand up, you throw up this chart on the wall. You're presenting the data for the different stores. Each bar is a separate store. And your manager asks, how much was Italy's Black Friday sales for last year? If this was an Excel chart, you're going to be like, I'll get back to you on that. With Power BI, you're like, let me show you. You've already implemented a drill through, the ability to click for detail. All you need to do is adjust your time selection, select the company, and click for details. There's a table here with important KPIs. Let's expand November. Go all the way down. Black Friday wasn't that amazing. Um, looks like Italy's not participating. Something we should tell the store manager to consider. Well, who's that? Oh yeah, right here. Right? So you have all the details prepared ahead of time. Whatever you think your audience or your manager might need might just be a click away. Now, how difficult is this to set up? Well, it's a piece of cake. Let me show you. Okay, so over here in Power BI, I've added a simple bar chart for sales year to date by the different stores. So these are the different store names. I've also added a slicer for the year. Now, I want to add more details behind this. I want to know who's the store manager, how many employees the store has, what's their daily profit. I can do all that in a separate details page. That feature is called drill through. You can see it right here. But your first step is not to go here. No, your first step is to go here. You need to create a new page. This page is going to serve your details and it's up to you what type of visual and what type of information you want to add here. Let's just start off with something simple. I'm going to add a matrix. Let's add some KPIs. I want to take a look at the number of orders and maybe the gross profit as well. I would like to have these on a daily basis. I'm going to add date here. And by default, I get it broken down into the date hierarchy, but I just want to keep the month and the date. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to bring it to this side and everything is super small. So let's make it bigger. Let's increase the font to 12. Column headers and row headers as well. Okay, so what is inside each month? Well, if I open up December, I get each single date that I had sales for. This is not restricted to a specific year. But wait a second, didn't we have year up here? I need whatever is on the details page to be restricted to that year. Well, no problem. This is the next step that you need to do. You get to add your drill through field here. The drill through field is the field that you want to get additional details for. What's the field that we want to have it activated for? Well, it's this one right here. So if I hover over on this bar, I want to see the details. That field is for my store. This means I need to use my store name field. So let's just quickly grab that. That's right here. We're going to drag and drop it and use it as a drill through field. Now you're not restricted to categories. You can also use measures and calculations here. Now you don't need to worry about any of this, right? So all you have to do is drag and drop it here. And the moment I did that, did you notice something else happened on this page? I got this back arrow. This automatically became a details page. Now all I have to do is give this page a nicer name. I'll call it store info. And now check this out. When I go back here and I hover over any of these bars, I get drill through option here. And I'm seeing this because I have modern tooltips activated. If you don't see this, don't worry. You can also right mouse click and use drill through this way. So now when we jump to store info, I only see data until October because in the model, I only have data until the end of October, 2022. So when I expand this, I only see October 2022 data. Now the filter comes through. Take a look at this. Year is 2022 and store name is the one I selected. All of this was automatically applied, right? So if I go back, actually let's use this to go back, control enter on desktop. 
If I go and select this, right mouse click, drill through, store info. Now the store name is the Los Angeles one. Okay, so you're free to add whatever you want here. I wanna show you something cool though. Let's add a multi-row card to the top. I'm gonna add the flag of the store. So I'm gonna go to flags, flag URL. I want the store name, store city, the manager, date the store was opened, employees, and the picture of the manager, right? Why not? So let's expand this and position this the way you like. Flag URL, it's self-explanatory, store name, I also don't need, I'm just gonna add a space here, and manager picture, I also don't need. So far, so good. Let's go back and test it for Austria. I'm gonna right mouse click, drill through store info, and I see the Austrian store information. Now, if you're wondering how I got the flag and the manager here, it's only a simple setting on the data side. So right here under store, I have manager picture. This is the link to where the picture is and my data category is image URL. Okay, so you can go ahead and add whatever you want here and use this as your details page. And you're also not restricted to a single details page. You could add another one and have customer details here. Use the same category to drill down on and add whatever visuals you want. A few moments later. I added a map for customer country and the orders. Drill through has been activated for store. We can see that right here. So just like before, now when I go back to overview and I hover over this, drill through, I can decide if I want to go to store info or customer details. Let's jump to customer details. And my filters have been automatically applied. Year is 2022. And this is the Los Angeles store. Now it can be difficult to educate the users of your report that there is a drill through option here. So I have a bonus tip for you. You could create a button that makes it really obvious. Let me show you. You're gonna to go to insert, buttons, add a blank button. Okay, so it added it up here. Let's just click and drag it down here. We're gonna turn on action. The type is drill through. Where is the destination? Well, we have two different ones. Let's have this button for store info. Tooltip, type in, click for details. We can adjust it later if we want. So now when I hover over this, click for details. This button needs text. So let's go up here under style, turn on text, click for store info. Now here's the cool part about this. You don't have to worry about programming this or coding this. A lot of this is there by default. Check this out. When I haven't selected a specific store, this is grayed out. And if I want to try and click, nothing happens. The moment I select something, this is clickable. I get to store info. Now let's get back. You can, of course, adjust the formatting of this as you want. Under style, you have different states that you can select from. So you have the default state and the disabled state. You can adjust the formatting to fit your preference. So we could go and turn this on and maybe make this green, right? So now if I make a selection here, it's more obvious that there's something to click here. So let's actually select Italy and go to Italy and we get the information about our Italian store. Now, it would probably be better to adjust the tooltip to make it more obvious what they have to do. Under action, let's go down here and change this to select a store and then click for details. Then you can go ahead and create a separate button for the customer details as well. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the drill through feature. Let me know what you think. Now, when I saw this for the first time in Power BI, I was like, that was it? It's sometimes shocking how easy things can be. You can, of course, make it more difficult if you like by making it conditional. You could use a measure for the button if you want. There are many ways that you can add complexity to this if you're into that stuff. But the standard drill through is as simple as that. Okay, so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like and do subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.